Good afternoon. We are joined by Sean Ricketts, head coach for the men and women's uh, track and field team over at Mesa College. Sean, thanks for joining us today. Hi, Bo. Hey, um, busy day, I'm sure. Uh, we're headed to the Kamaka Multis tomorrow at Mount Sac. But before we we go there, let's let's talk a little bit about uh, the start of the season uh, for the 2023 campaign. Um, you know, we've talked offline a couple of times. Um, you know, you, you and I discussed about the importance of um, having your team participate uh, and join events like the Pole Vault Summit, right? And then after that, hosting the Intra Squad back at Mesa. Um, tell me, why is it important for you and the program and the athletes to be joining events uh, like those two? Yeah, I, th I think to um, start out, uh, the sport of track and field is is unique um, because you have these different event areas. Um, so in terms of that, uh, events like the Pole Vault Summit, um, early season meets, we just want to expose our athletes to um, opportunities to d develop, learn, gain valuable experience uh, with the ultimate goal of performing at their best at the mm -hmm. end. Um, once again, um, we are the program, especially in our conference that get chased and, and, and of course the, the state as well, um, ha had another conference crown last season. That was the fourth, uh, in a row, uh, capturing the PCAC crown, uh, along with a second place finish in, at States without giving away your secret sauce, <laughs> you know, and, and how, what and how are you able to keep such a consistent, um, uh, program year in and year out. What, what 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 do you stress on? What do you emphasize that we know that, hey, you know what, we're going to field a competitive team this year. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. I think, I think number one, uh, I got to give credit to um, the coaches that I have on staff mm -hmm. and the consistency of that staff. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's number one. Um, again, I mentioned before the several different event areas. So that's a, that's a challenge, I would say, sometimes for a head track and field coach in a track and field program is to make sure that you have the coaching staff for each sure. spe um, specific uh, event. Mm -hmm. um, so I say, number one, it goes back to that. Um, two, I, I think, you know, we, I mean, not think, we work really hard at recruiting, at retaining uh, athletes and yeah. just keeping them on track to um, do well academically and then to transfer to mm -hmm. a four-year mm -hmm. uh, we, we we preach tradition legacy of the program mm -hmm. um, it means something to be a part of uh, San Diego Mesa track and field um, you know the number one thing we're focused on right now and uh, we're constantly talking about this with both the women's and men's teams is connecting as a team Mm -hmm. And that could be a challenge because you have the throws practicing um, in one area, uh, sprints, hurdles, distance at separate times, and we connect in the weight room. Um, but that's that's the biggest thing that we're talking about is building that foundation as a team. Mm -hmm. um, because if they all do their job individually, um, they're going to do well as a team. But it's also the support that they give one another in uh just, just that that purpose and meaning of being a part of a uh, program. Absolutely, and and that's one of the things. And I'm glad you you brought up the the coaches um, within the program because uh, they are not only qualified, but they are uh, they are staff that knows and cares about the about the athlete. And, and I'm so, I'm also glad you you mentioned the the rich history and tradition of the program. Going back to obviously Manny Bautista and and the staff that you put together, you know, uh, Coach Matthew Beckstead, uh, who heads the sprints, hurdles, and relays. Tony Griswold, who heads javelin. Luigi Gonzalez, the throws. Wes Williams, sprints and hurdles. Ronnie Taylor jumps, and of course the the legendary Manny Bautista, who's a uh, who who's still active in the track and field world, right? Um, to yeah. have to have that. That that type of staff that you know that you're confident with that these guys are going to teach, um, you know, the right things is definitely a valuable. And again, just the consistency of it, right? You know who's yeah. here, who's going to be back next year, and and that means a lot, especially for the athletes that are currently enrolled and the players that are coming in. And and yeah. obviously the number one goal is get them out of here, but it, it's also an amazing thing that you guys give them that athletic success during their time here at Mesa. 
Yeah, I um, Bo, I do got to mention uh, our pole vault coach Pete Brooks. Um, okay. He has he has thirty years of um, experience, mm. um, and then Thomas Fadden um, is now our new new throws coach. Got it. Um, got it. But he he was connected with Luigi, so it, it's uh, yeah. Um, hey, well, great result at the Riverside City College early bird invite. Uh, obviously highlighted by the four by one hundred team who turned in a forty point six one, which is the third best all time at Mesa College. Also, Madison capturing the pole vault event with a 3.27 success, successful vault. Um, are these numbers a good indicator of hopefully a successful season? Yeah, yeah. We we, we talked about especially the men's um, four by one team. Uh-huh. That that is that was their first relay, basically uh, passing the baton on the track mm-hmm. and, to, and to run that fast very early. Um, that's that's a good sign for the whole team in terms of the work that's been put in in the off season, um, and to have that relay team um, connect so well, that's also uh, symbolic of what we're trying to do as a whole team. Mm-hmm. Um, so 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 yeah, we 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 look at this year um, in terms of the men's program, uh, we returned most of our. Um, um athletes who placed at the state meet last year and then we also filled in some holes so say with the jumps we have titan taylor um, who's come in rashawn williams as well um but they're also multi eventers so mm-hmm. they also do um javelin they sprint um on the women's side too um madison was the state champ in the pole vault um emma fitzgerald um who ran the 800 was sixth in, in state she's back but we've also got a really strong uh throws pr- program um along with hurdles sprints um so we are excited just about how uh how well we are all around each I, event absolutely and, and some of the just just to highlight the, the team again the four by 100 team consists of maury stewart lamar smith adrian chavez and kyle wood and again, we can go back to talking about the tradition of Mesa College. I remember him, Felix Sanchez, um, yeah. you know, back back in the day, who went to my high school. We actually graduated, uh, I think, the same year. Um, you know, it's a rich tradition of the of that track and field team over at Mesa College, and we all know where Felix is now and what he's done with his career. And hopefully, these guys will uh, will will somewhat come close to what she's done. We we obviously also have to mention uh, Maury Stewart, six point seven eight, and Lamar Smith. Uh, Jasper Cadillac, Jeremiah Havens, Harrison Hansen, uh, who swept the javelin, uh, I believe, and uh, and the, uh, the men's distance medley uh, with Devin Province, Jake Beck- Beckwith, Alan Jimenez, and David Milan. Um, you know, it's it's going to be an exciting season, right? I mean, there there are there are goals and there are things that looks good, but obviously we still have to go out there and perform because no one's going to give out medals for for free, right? We still have to work. No. Um, hey, Sean, let me ask you this. Uh, with the success of all the of the teams the past couple of years, what is the ultimate goal for 2023? I would say, I mean, it always goes back to um, performing at our best at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, on both sides, um, podium yep. is what 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 we want to get. Obviously, our our men's team plays second last year. This team is even better. Mm-hmm. Um, but we but we got to wait and see what other teams have. Uh, sure. So the number one thing we can do is focus on us developing and improving and just following the process throughout the season and making sure that uh, they're focused on performing well at the end. Um, women's team should be fun because um, we have a team, team that we, we definitely think will be podium. Mm-hmm. Um, and and that's that, that's exciting. It, it mirrors our cross country program, and both sure. teams placing second at the state meet in the fall. Um, our goal is to do something similar to that. Absolutely, it's always an exciting time when track and cross country, whenever it comes around, because we know, all right, what's 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 next on the line, and see what what type of uh, podium, what kind of medals are we bringing? We're bringing home uh, the Kamaka Multi is tomorrow at Mount San Antonio College, uh, Coach Ricketts. Um, what are you looking for tomorrow? Uh, one of the things that you're going to be keeping a close eye on that might, uh, you know, teach you something or or, or, or gain some knowledge of needing to adjust something. What, what's what's the focus tomorrow, and uh, what are you guys going to be uh, 
taking a look at? Yeah, we uh, take a lot of pride in our uh, decks in in our HEPs. Um, obviously, this year we only have uh, uh, the athletes, and um, the two competing tomorrow is Jeremiah Havens and Bennett Dondonayo. Mm -hmm. um jeremiah placed second in state last year and we've already seen on the off season in some of his weaker events he's improved drastically so that only means good things for this uh season um and then bennett is is actually a unique story because he played uh four years of football at U usd um and then came over to us and was still like i want to run track i want to do the deck and um so he has developed well over the fall um, but for both of those guys, we're just looking for a regionals mark. Um, mm -hmm. That'd be their first deck of the season. And then at the same time, to, uh, tomorrow and Friday, um, it's going to be wet, rainy. The mm -hmm. conditions aren't going to be great. So the the number one goal is to get a mark, get in a full deck, but also be safe and conservative at the same time so we don't risk um, the rest of the season. Absolutely. Yeah. This, this weather, this last couple of days, well, actually the last couple of months has just been a, a little erratic here in, the, in Southern yeah. County. So, um, well, coach, uh, I thank you for your time. Uh, we are looking forward to the upcoming season for both the men and women's uh, you know, we'll, we'll obviously keep our, our fans and our, and, and our and parents and family and supporters up to date. Let me know how it goes tomorrow and we'll, uh, we'll give everyone an update. Awesome. Thank you very much, Bo. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate it. Okay.